Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your uh, weekly love forecast for August 12th to the 18th. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you'd like a personal read with me or you would like to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all of my information is in the description box below. And also, let me not forget my members. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. All right, so we're gonna talk about the day to day and then the overall and then advice. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. All right, so as you guys know, I use three different decks for the day to day. This is the main deck I'm working with right now. So what's going on with my Gemini's? Romantic Love Life for August 12th to the 18th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. And then we're gonna work on your love interest deck or the person that you're here for. It's gonna be Gemini's Love Interest, Romantic Love Life for August 12th to the 18th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, and then this is gonna be for your Oracle. Gemini's Romantic Love Life for August 12th to the 18th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we'll see what's going on here. All right, so on the 12th, free yourself from the situation. Okay, give yourself space here, okay? We'll see what's going on here. Oh my goodness, oh, there's, there's a passionate energy happening here. Okay, well, this could also be seeing here to you that you could feel free, you know, uh, you know, uh, take a leap of faith or maybe be a little bit more carefree here. There's some passionate energy coming in here with the Knight of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Um, oh my goodness. And your love interest also has the Knight of Wands energy. So both you and your love interest are matching on this day. So, well, you know. There's some passionate stuff going on there, okay. On the 13th, children could be affecting your romantic love life. Now, this could be an actual child. It could be somebody being uh, childish, okay, or immature here with the child card energy. Um, so watch out for that. So it does look like uh, you have the Hierophant cards, the sense of traditional values, long-term commitment, marriage, or some kind of commitment that you're dealing with here. Your love and just the person you're dealing with has the four of uh, pentacles on this day. So it's like almost like the savings card. Think about the savings card. So it's like you want to hold on to a situation for success, right? All right. So on the, the 14th, so forgiveness. So either someone's going to forgive you or you need to forgive somebody else with the forgiveness card. Um, it does look like you're having a sense of being completely happy on this day with the Ten of cups energy. So that's really good. All right, so, and your love interest, the person you're dealing with has a sense of joy and celebration or they're hanging out with their friends there with the Three of Cups energy. On the 15th, with this particular card, you wanna watch out and pay attention to your dreams, anything that may resonate with you on this day that may come, you feel comes from spirit, pay attention to that, okay? That is on the 15th. Um, it does look like there's some indecisions on this day. You're having a sense that you're having to make a compromise that you're at a crossroads here with the Two of Swords energy. Your love and just the person you're dealing with has a sense of, you know what, I have an ideal situation. I have all the tools I need with the Magician card energy. On the 16th, oh wow, love is affecting your romantic love life there. And it does look like you're having a sense of waiting for that right opportunity, waiting for success there with the Three of Wands energy, right? But Spirit is saying, yo, there's love here, right? With the love card energy. Your uh, love is just the person you're dealing with is being very flirty on this day with the, the Page of Wands energy, or there's some kind of potential passion there with the Page of Wands energy. On the 17th, travel could be affecting your romantic love life. Well, that one, join the club with that one. <laughs> and uh, King of Wands looks like that's, um, you're feeling like you're, you're being a natural born leader on this day, right? You're taking wise choices and wise decisions when it comes to passions. Your love interest, the person you're dealing with on the 17th, has a sense of my hands are tied, there's nothing I can do about it, my back's against the wall, right? With the Eight of Swords energy. On the 18th, have a beautiful day here with a beautiful card. And, oh wow. Some of you are reminiscing about the past here with the Six of Cups energy. For some of you, there may be some stuff going on with somebody from the past, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be an ex, but it's, it's definitely to do with the past energy. All right, and your love is just the person you're dealing with has the Eight of Wands energy. There's a sense of messages or they're wanting things to move very fast. Okay, so bear with me for a second here, Gemini, while I clear this out of the way so we can work on your 
overall. But before that, let's fo uh, focus in on your numerology for this week. Okay, so we got the Ten of Cups energy, we got the Two of Swords energy, we have the Three of Wands energy, and then the Six of Cups energy. All right, so this week, Ten of Cups is, there is a sense of being completely happy. But on the same token, there's some indecisions happening here because you're waiting here for something to do with the past energy, Six of Cups energy, or something pertaining to healing, recovery, and love. Or the three card energy is insane that you are coming up with a creative solution for your situation, or you have more than one choice or option with a three card energy. Okay, so let's move this, the rest of these cards out of the way so we can do the overall here. And you know for the overall, guys, I use two different decks, right? One is the main deck and one is the clarifying deck. All right, so what's going on with my Gemini's Romantic Love Life for August 12th to the 18th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, feels good. And then we got this one, and then we'll get started. Gemini's Romantic Love Life for August 12th to 18th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, so. You're feeling carefree and you're willing to take a leap of faith here on this day or in the current situation. And it's because of house and family, some kind of stability, right, with that house card energy, a sense of stableness with the house card energy, something close to home with the house card energy. All right, so four is about stability and stableness. What's the blockage here? You're doing some, maybe you need to do a little bit more deep, heavy soul searching here with the hermit card energy, right? Or there's a sense that you need to really figure out what you want here with the Emperor card energy and for some of you there could be some friend influence with the doll card energy being there or you're doing some deep heavy soul searching about loyalty or friendliness with the doll card energy. Hmm. That seems to be what's crossing you or blocking you. Nine is about wishes being fulfilled. What's going on at the foundation? Hmm. <laughs> yes. Passion. <laughs> All right. So there's this opportunity for passion here ace of rods energy and it looks like it may be coming through a message here a letter a text message a facebook message here with the the letter card energy something written down okay and some kind of passionate message here all right and there's this opportunity for some kind of for some of you new passion because it's the ace energy for others of you it could be renewed passion two plus seven is eight and nine so some kind of wish fulfillment around an opportunity in the past whoo heavy card could be done with the Scorpio energy with that death card energy. There was a sense of transformation here. Uh, something ended to start anew here with the death card energy. Um, and it looks like there was a lot of emotions that play with the fish card energy. There was a lot of analyzing, thinking, contemplating. At the head of the matter, there's a lot of weighing of choices and options. What's going to be the best bet for me on the long term basis? Or you're doing a lot of multi tasking or juggling here with the two of pentacles energy uh, pertaining to romance with the moon card energy and and five is about some kind of challenge or change because of a choice that needs to be made hmm. so in the near future we see that there's a sense of confusion here with the moon card energy uh, when it comes to love so there's uncertainty about what you want pertaining to love here and i feel like it's because this this opportunity is coming in and pertaining to passion and you're having possibly more than one choice here with the two of pentacles energy this is giving you this sense of confusion about what you want and you're trying to do some deep heavy soul searching about loyalty maybe you're even talking to a friend here with the doll card energy Okay, so we see there's romance here, a lot of emotions at play because of this letter and message about love. There's a choice that has to be made because something that ended, stopped, or completed pertaining to an opportunity of passion which caused some confusion here. All right, with the moon card energy. Six is healing, recovery, and love, and there's some confusion about that. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen in near, well, in the influence category here. All right, so we have... A sense of someone is not being straight up, straightforward. Someone's not being completely honest here with the Seven of Swords energy. Uh, when it comes to this news or messages, or there's something sneaky about it. <laughs> there's some sneakiness going on here. There's some sneaky behavior going on here when it comes to the news and messages, or someone's being sneaky because they want to fulfill their wishes there. With uh, uh, this, this is like the Nine of Cups energy. So there's a lot of analyzing, thinking, contemplating about this opportunity. Okay, all right, so that's the influence that's going on. I'm gonna clarify that Moon card energy and then the Seven of Swords, of course, to see a little bit more. But I feel like what's going on is there's a person that's hitting you up like, hey, 
I'm feeling you. I want some passion and energy going on here. All right, what's going on with the moon card energy, please? What's going on with the moon card energy? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so I'm waiting around to see how things are going to play out because uh, not wanting to be left out of the cold or a sense of loss when it comes to romance, Knight of Cups energy. Okay, why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay, yep, something secret. Um, which says that somebody wants a victory here. Doing something secret because they want a victory. Okay. Add it, something around the past energy. Six of Cups. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's an ex, but it could be somebody from the past. Six of Cups energy. They're hitting you up because they want some happiness here. Ten of Cups energy. So, yeah, they're doing some sneaking around. Sneakiness with messages. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me know in the comments below, guys. All right. So, before we go further here, I just want to look at your advice here. What they suggest. All right. All right, so don't feel like your hands are tied in this situation, okay? Remember, this is a mental energy. Your back's not against the wall. You can untie this at any time and take that blindfold off. Your, it's just a mental energy. Your hands aren't really tied, all right? So don't have that sense. Eight says, put the work or effort into it. We can clarify just to be sure. All right, why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Oh, yep. Don't feel like your hands are tied when it comes to this opportunity of passion. Make a decision here. Justice card energy. And uh, because of some kind of potential long-term commitment, Page of Pentacles. And something needs to be equal give and take. Six of Pentacles energy. Yes, yeah, someone is, uh, is is sending you a message under the radar, trying to because they're they're trying to they're trying to definitely make themselves happy there with that passionate energy. Okay, okay, let's talk about the outcome here. All right, so you're having a sense of all right, defeated energy. Should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away from the situation? Five of Swords energy. Um, so you've decided to wait around to see how things are going to play out here with the Seven of Pentacles energy because there's an investment of some time with the, um, with the Seven of Pentacles energy. And um, you see that there is potential here. You have potential for a long-term commitment here with the Page of Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So there's this sense of defeated energy here because of this waiting around to see how things are going to play out. But there is this potential for a long-term commitment here. So you've got a couple of different things going on here, right? you got this, this potential long-term commitment energy, and then you also have this potential for a passion here that's being done uh, under the radar there with the Seven of Swords energy. So, so let's just keep going here. All right. We have the Star Card energy. There's improvements and changes because of healing and recovery with the Tree Card energy. And yep, you're at a crossroads here with the crossroads cards about the whole situation, about this potential long-term commitment towards Virgo Capricorn energy. Yeah, that there is improvement, changes, and healing here with the tree card energy, but there's some indecisions here. There's a choice that has to be made about this potential long-term commitment and obviously about this potential passion here. And so obviously at the current, you're confused about what you want here pertaining to love. So don't feel like your hands are tied in this situation, okay, Gemini? You gotta, you gotta make the decision here. All right. All right, my darlings. I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. Uh, guys, also, uh, I want to thank my members. I will be releasing, the next one I'll be releasing is either bi-weeklies or, um, or mid-monthly. So you let me know what you want me to do next, okay? I love you guys so much and have a great rest of your week.